Boys and girls, a very good day to you. How are you? I hope that all of you are doing well. I am Puan Dewi from SK2 Taman Selayang. With us today is our sign language interpreter Encik Saiful Amri bin Sailan from SMPKV Shah Alam. The topic for today's lesson is plant reproduction. Boys and girls, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to give examples of plants for each way of reproduction. Give reasons on the importance of plants reproduction to living things. Explain that certain plants can reproduce through various ways. What is reproduction? Reproduction occurs in all living things such as humans, animals and plants. Let's take a look at how reproduction occurs in plants. Boys and girls, why do plants reproduce? Good! Plants reproduce to avoid extinction. Let's learn how plants reproduce. Plants reproduce in various ways. These are some of the ways plants reproduce. They reproduce through seeds. Suckers, underground stems, spores, stem cutting, and leaves. Most plants reproduce through seeds. Boys and girls, plants that produce fruits reproduce through seeds. Boys and girls, can you name some plants that reproduce through seeds? Yes, good job! Papaya, watermelon, tomato, mango, rambutan and chili plants reproduce through seeds. Boys and girls, look at these fruits. They have only one seed. Can you name the fruits? Well done! The fruits are avocado, lychee and longan. Next, let's look at these fruits that have more than one seed. Can you name the fruits? Very good! The fruits are strawberry, watermelon and pomegranate. These fruits also have more than one seed. There are Kiwi, orange, papaya, and chili. Boys and girls, next we are going to learn about suckers. Plants can also reproduce through suckers. What are suckers? Suckers are young plants that will grow near their parent plants. 
they can grow into new plants. Look at this picture. What is the name of this plant? That's correct. It is a banana plant. The banana plant is a good example of a plant that reproduces through suckers. Other than banana plant, yam plant and pineapple plant also reproduce through suckers. Boys and girls, you have learned that plants can reproduce through seeds and suckers. Now, let's learn other ways plants reproduce. Some plants also reproduce through underground stems. Underground stems are part of plants that grow into new plants when planted. Look at this picture. What is this? Good! It is an onion. The onion is a plant reproduces through underground stem. Do you like to eat potatoes? Do you know how potatoes reproduce? Great! Potatoes reproduce through underground stem. Let's learn more about how plants reproduce. Another way plants reproduce is through spores. Usually, non-flowering plants reproduce through spores. Let's look at some non-flowering plants. Fern and mushrooms, these plants reproduce through spores. Next, let's learn about stem cutting. What is stem cutting? When a stem cutting of a plant is planted, it will grow into a new plant, such as tapioca and bougainvillea. These plants reproduce through stem cutting. Let's learn the steps in stem cutting. The first step is to choose the stem cutting which is best suited for developing into a new plant. The length of the cutting should be around 10 to 15 centimeters long. Prepare the soil for planting the stem cutting. Boys and girls, Plants also reproduce through leaves. Some plants reproduce through their parents' leaves. Let's look at some examples of plants that reproduce through leaves. The snake plant and the satawa or bryophyllum. Do you know there are plants that are able to reproduce in more than one way? For example, water spinach and basil can reproduce through seeds and stem cuttings. 
sweet potatoes and potatoes can also reproduce through underground stems and stem cuttings. Boys and girls, let's learn the importance of plant reproduction. Why is plant reproduction important? Plant's reproduction is important to ensure that plants are always there to provide food source to other living things. Plants also provide shelter for the animals. Boys and girls, why is the air so fresh? When there are more trees around us. Excellent! Plants and trees provide oxygen. Boys and girls, look at the furniture around you. Can you identify the furniture that is made of wood? We should be grateful to the plants because they reproduce and provide us with wood to make furniture. Boys and girls, reproduction of plants is important because they conserve and maintain food source, habitat, oxygen supply, and wood supply. Boys and girls, do you know that technology is also used in the reproduction of plants? The first method is tissue culture. What is tissue culture? Using tissue culture, we can produce new plants from tissues of a parent plant that are placed in nutrient medium. Some examples of plants that can be reproduced using tissue culture are the pineapple plant, the orchid, oil palm, rubber trees, and paddy plant. Let's learn about the process of tissue culture. Step 1. Tissue samples are taken from a parent plant. Step 2. The tissue samples are placed in a nutrient medium. Step 3. The tissue samples develop into tiny plantlets. The second method is makotage. Makotage is a process to increase the number of plants without planting seeds. Some plants that are reproduced using the makotage method are the mango trees, durian trees, longkong tree, sapodilla tree, jackfruit tree, rambutan tree. Look at this picture. It shows the makotage process in reproducing plants. The makotage process. Step 1. Cut and remove the bark. Step 2. 
wrap the exposed stem with a growing medium. Step 3. Cover it with a plastic wrap film. Step 4. After the roots have grown, cut the branch from the parent tree. Step 5. Remove the plastic wrap and plant the branch in the soil. Let's have a quick quiz. First question is What is the importance of plant reproduction? Time is up. Yes, that's amazing. Conserving and maintaining food source, habitat, oxygen supply, wood supply. Now, next question is, give the examples of plants that reproduce through suckers. Time's up. What's your answer? Yes, good job. It is banana plant and yam plant. Before we end the lesson, let's recap what you have learned. You have learned to give examples of plants for each way of reproduction. Give reasons on importance of plants reproduction to living things. Explain that certain plants can reproduce through various ways. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Bye!